What's up, folks? It's your boy, Left Leggy Legend. And I'm on a college campus right now, looking like the president of the college because I am interviewing for a position. So wish me luck. And uh, I'll take all good uh, wishes, well wishes down in the comments or just like and subscribe and then I'll know you're wishing me well. Um, sorry I'm breathing hard, but I'm here today and I brought my cane out, but I was just thinking, you know, as I walked, walked the campus, how frustrating it is to be uh, disabled, you know, and trying to learn how to navigate and ambulate but still also continuing my life uh and what i mean by that is that uh i was just gonna walk on campus because i've been practicing my walking you know walking with a prosthesis it's not as easy as you would assume just looking to make sure i know where i'm going uh colleges are these labyrinthine en enigmatic or areas you know so easy to get lost in and nobody really knows where stuff is other than where their stuff is hey you know where the b building is no i never go to the b building so anyway as i ambulate i was thinking about how bad i feel to be walking in with my cane and i realize and i tell myself but that's not my problem, you know? I look good, I'm qualified, you know? I'm an exceptional <laughs> employee. But I always have this insecurity about being disabled when I'm walking into these interviews. And the reason is because people judge you, right? I'm less than 100%, or they don't wanna deal with me ambulating around campus and falling or you know it's for my protection and so i do these interviews where i'm sometimes overqualified obviously the best candidate but still not get the job or in some cases in my insecurity not even be invited to the interview because i identify myself as disabled on the application because they ask you know and i mean one of a lot of things right disabled african-american man and i fill out those self-identification sheets just because i'm a proud disabled african-american man and i feel like no one should judge me for that right i should be applauded for we should be applauded for getting up and pushing on and trying harder and being successful, you know? How cool will it be to come in and have cool Dr. Johnson as your professor with one leg that tells you this story about what it's like to be him or to be in his footsteps. Some, I got some feedback the other day, and so I'm not going to do it today, but I'll start incorporating it into the future seasons of the Left Legged Legend. Somebody said, you're just talking to the camera. You should show us where you're at. Let us see other things except for your face. Who would want to see anything other than what you're looking at right now? I mean, especially today. I am really doing it, but... I was trying not to identify the campus because, you know, it should be kind of confidential with my interview, but I don't see any identifying marks. And if you recognize it, you know, that's just on you. They even have a bell. So that's just me thinking out loud. And this issue I have is like, I feel less than, uh, I guess it's part of the male ego, you know, it's part of just being human and trying to navigate 
difference and being different, particularly here in America where, you know, your difference can get you celebrated or your difference can get you disenfranchised. And so I'm in an area at a school where like so many other schools, they talk about diversity, inclusion, equity, and belonging. However, the staff is not that diverse. The student body is diverse, but I always think of college as a disappearing act, you know? In college, as a professor, I've taught English 101, or English at, in the college, because I wasn't just at 101. Most of my years have been spent teaching English 101. But I teach, I've been teaching English for 16, uh, this is my 16th year. And I've taught Shakespeare, I've taught uh, speech, or I teach speech as, uh, now as well. I've taught graduate school courses. I've taught developmental courses. And you would think a person with a track record, my students rate me high every time they do the student, uh, reviews, student evaluations of the professor I always get high marks. I have my students in every class that I teach do a reflection of their time with me so that I can adjust and pivot if needed. And the students love me. Uh, my my um, reference, not references, but my evaluations, my annual evaluations or biannual evaluations are usually very um, congratulatory and, and, and very, uh, pleasing if someone was going to hire me. I do have one. I got into it with a uh, vice president one time. We were having a personality conflict one semester. And that's the first time and the last time that I've gotten an evaluation at work that said that I was, that I needed improvement. But it was, that, from my perspective, it was more uh, politically charged than um, factually based. But anyway, I wanted to tell y'all that because I'm feeling pretty vulnerable. I wanted to leave my cane in the car. I could have left it in the car, um, but it makes me walk more stable so that I look like I can walk, but I have a cane. So if I walk in without my cane, I'm a little more off balance. It's not that easy to learn how to walk on a prosthesis. Um, it seems like it, you know, people from the time that I got it, I got it last February. So a little over a year, about 14 months. I've had my prosthesis. And when I first got it, people would say, try, try harder, move harder. Like, wait, like WTF, like you did this before? Cause you got both your legs. So did your leg grow back after you learned how to do this? But I think that people look at disabled people and they think like, we're, we have it hard cause we're just not trying hard enough. And it's not just a physical thing. I know the actual movement of walking. I got my stub, my stub, stump, residual limb, it is not that long, but it's long enough for me to swing my what's left of my femur and walk. I know the uh, mechanics of walking. It's not the same. I'm suctioned into a socket that's connected to a mechanical joint that's about uh, momentum and placement more so than just the mechanics. I, two thirds, more than two thirds of my leg is not under my control, quote unquote, right? And so it's just not about me trying hard, you know, by all intents and purposes, I've been told that I have moved faster than other people and it's still a struggle for me because part of it is mental. You have to, would you trust something? If I put, um, rollerblades on your feet but told you to walk regularly would you just trust the rollerblade to do what it's supposed to do you know you got to control it and so it's mental too so you know go easy on people let them work on their time i like the subtle pushes you know i like when people encourage me are a lot better than telling me i just need to try harder because sometimes people will say that and i'm trying my hardest you know or our people will say you know something about how i'm walking oh you need to take bigger steps you need to do like that's what you do on your prosthesis? Cause look like to me, you got two meat legs. So how are you telling me what to do and how I should feel and how hard I should do it? So just, you know, be mindful of that. Encouragement is great, but because you can walk on both feet and you've never had to 
do otherwise, then I would think that you should, uh, you know, reserve your uh, judgment for situations that you understand. I'm, I'm not a marathon runner, right? I'm a ex football player. And so if you were running a marathon, would you listen to me when I told you, you know, how to run a marathon? No, because I've never run a marathon. So I'd like to take advice from people who've already ran a marathon. If I'm a marathon runner, if I play tennis, I want somebody who's actually played tennis to advise me on playing tennis or golf or whatever it is. And the same thing with this, there, it, there are times when your input is very valued, but you have to understand how to focus that in. And so I won't keep preaching to you. It's a beautiful day in California, 72 degrees, it doesn't get any better. And I'm gonna walk in here and introduce myself with my cane and hope that the people that are here to judge me will not think of me as any less than because I feel less than, right? It may not have anything to do with them. And so I'm gonna take the next few minutes to try to cut that off and talk to myself so that when I go in here and I'm actually talking to this panel, I project the confidence, experience, expertise, knowledge, and all those other things rather than my insecurities or my feeling of being judged for not being 100% perfect, human, complete, because none of us are. And so, you know, if you have any stories that down in the comments, let's talk about it. Let's see, what are, your, what are some of your thoughts on these issues? What are ways that people can help? Maybe some of you have some expertise in helping people to not feel like this, to our self-talk, our self-care or whatever. So let's do that. And once again, it's your boy, Left Leggy Legend, looking quite handsomely legendary today. Signing off, peace.